So I decided to stop at McDonald's in between my classes, and I forgot that they had the new signature crafted sandwiches. There are three to choose from. You can have the maple bacon Dijon, the pico guacamole, or the sweet barbecue bacon. Guess which one I picked. That's right, the pico guac. I'm just kidding. Of course I got the sweet bacon. We are here in Texas after all. So if you guys can please leave me 50 likes, I would greatly appreciate it. Leave me recommendations where you want to see me eat, and you could potentially get a shout out in the next food review. And also subscribe to become a piglet. So without further ado, let go! What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Porkchop here, and I'm coming at you with another food review here at McDonald's in Canyon to try one of these signature crafted burgers. Well, it's not really a burger because I got it with chicken. The way that they do it is you pick your protein, which is a beef patty, a grilled chicken, or a crispy chicken. And you can also get it on an artisan roll or you can get it on a sesame seed bun. I decided to go ahead and get mine a chicken sweet barbecue bacon because I love barbecue. I love bacon mixed together. Fantastic. This one comes with onion straws, bacon, barbecue sauce, and all on an artisan bun with white cheddar and I got it crispy chicken. This bad boy rang up to $8.39 with the combo. It is $5.99 without the combo. I decided to get it with a medium fry and since all of McDonald's drinks are the same price, I got it with a large Texas style. Coming at you live, 3D. There we go, right down the middle. Awesome, let's see how good the tea is today. Tea is kinda little, mm, but it's okay. It's still good. Here's the sweet barbecue bacon on an artisan bun with a crispy chicken patty. Let's open this up. Oh look, they even got a little wrapping. Here's what it looks like. That looks pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. The bacon is crispy. Mm. She told me it was going to take a minute to do the bacon. Glad I waited a minute. Some of the onion straws. Mm. So let's open this bad boy up. There is your barbecue and your onion straws. And there is the chicken, bacon, and white cheddar. And the artisan bun. Let's take a bite. Here we go. First impression is, where the barbecue sauce at though? I tasted the bacon, tasted the chicken, the cheese, the onions. I didn't taste any barbecue sauce. I think they skimped out on the barbecue sauce on the sandwich. So let's try it again. Mm -hmm. I'm squeezing it to get more barbecue sauce towards the front. So let's do one more bite. A little underwhelming with the barbecue sauce. First, second, and third impression is I am tasting no barbecue sauce whatsoever. I don't know if that is just a problem here or that the barbecue sauce just simply isn't that tangy as it's supposed to be. Everything tastes good except the barbecue sauce that's supposed to set it off. My taste buds are like, where that dough? I will give this one more bite and hope that I can have a little barbecue sauce with my sweet barbecue bacon sandwich. Nope, if I ever decide to get this again, I am asking them for extra, extra barbecue sauce because well, you can clearly see it right here on top, but taste-wise, it is just a phantom. It's not there. It's actually kind of lackluster. Oh, man, I was really excited about this and I'm actually kind of underwhelmed. I'm, I'm kind of depressed, actually. At least I got fries and my sweet tea to go with it. One thing I like, one thing I dislike, and then my overall rating. So one thing I like about it is I love this type of sandwich. I love crispy. I love grilled. As long as it's chicken, I will eat it. And knowing that I could put bacon as well as onions and barbecue sauce on it, that's a good chicken sandwich in my opinion. So one thing I dislike is barbecue sauce. It is lackluster, as I mentioned earlier. It is non-existing, a phantom and I feel like that it could have been so much better. I'm tasting it vaguely, but it should be just a pow, a kick in the mouth. But it's not sadly disappointing. Guys, what is your rating for the signature crafted sandwiches slash burgers? What's your favorite one? Should I review on a scale of one to 10 piglets? I'm gonna have to give the sweet barbecue bacon chicken sandwich. Uh, this is gonna get a seven out of 10. The reason why it's docked is one, where the barbecue sauce at though. Two, I had expectations that were a little short. Overall, it's a good it's a good chicken sandwich, but I just feel like it could have been so much better. Dock three points because of that. So guys, thank you all so much once again for dropping by. Please leave those 50 likes. I'm also doing a giveaway very soon. Stay tuned for that video. And also guys, if you please can give me recommendations because you could potentially get a shout out 
in the next food review if you give me recommendations. Please subscribe to become a piglet. You guys won't be disappointed. Go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Snapchat, and always remember my little piglets. Call them Fort Shop. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. I hit the bag when I did that. <laughs>